Getting through another kickoff hour with that speedy. He will be back tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey! Hey, Rick, what's up with you? Greg, Greg, they said you can't have any. Cause what? Yep. Yeah. I know I get the wrap as a big eater, but Greg beats me to the food every Aww. time. Greg's like a cow. He's just grazing all the time. <laughs> Good and steady. Oh, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> steady. Cheese me up. Let's go for a uh, cheesecake bite record here. Oh. <laughs> that was a great toss, too. Let's see if I can do it. All right, all right. And I'm going to go way on back. All right, all right. Ready? <laughs> All right, wow. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try to get it to you, right. man. Oh, no. <laughs> Says Trump has taken on. You remember people were saying the military was getting buried with operations for transgender? And he says, I've, I've talked with the military experts, or whatever. We are not going to do that. And that's not the role of the government or the taxpayers to provide anyone a transgender operation. If that's what you think you need to do in this country, then you provide that for yourself. Did y'all seen this about Jamie Johnson, singer? He had a show with... Uh, about a head of gun or something? Well, he, him and his entourage illegally carry weapons, and House of Blues wouldn't let them bring them in, so they said, if you ain't bringing them in, we ain't playing. So they had to cancel. Come on! So they got the votes to discuss it yesterday, and McCain had to get there to vote to put it into discussion. Look, I think McCain is a hero. I don't care what Trump says. I think he's a hero for serving the country. You've been in the Senate 30 years, but it's time to go home, McCain. And then he tells all of us in the media, basically, to go to Being a watchdog has nothing to do with being liberal or conservative. What we have now is a media that is so liberal, they look at everything through a liberal uh, template, and they report it that way. So we only hear what they want us to hear. They're not a watchdog, they're a political action committee. He was accused of a crime, shoplift him. He was cut from the team. He was then said, hey, our bad, lucky didn't do it. He wasn't even around, out of state. Well, he's still cut. <laughs> yeah, you ain't joking. It kind of goes back to this. Now, surely we don't think that if, you, if you're ramming your head into people for, for 20 some years, it's, it's, prob it's probably not, not that grateful. But again, I think a lot of it goes back to this too, where people have gotten um, bigger, stronger, and faster too. The collisions have more force than they used to have too. I mean, you're going to be, how about this? This is called, if you're trying to play football nowadays, you want to play for a long time. There's certain things you can't avoid, knee to the head, but you're not going to do like we were taught to use your head as a weapon if you won't play a long time. You're not. the best advice you have ever received? Well, I was gonna break down the word assume, but I'm not sure I should do that. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Um, tip well. If you're trying to help somebody up to where you're standing on a cliff, it's easier for them to pull you off the cliff than for you to pull them up. So be careful with those kinds of relationships. The best advice I ever received. If you're not gonna use your head, you might as well have two. Creeper Jackson.
Can you explain why you don't do the Halloween ghost hunt anymore? The reason why we don't do the 13 working days of horror anymore is really the spiritual growth of the show. It was all meant to be in a good fun, but of course, some people carried a little too far, so we thought we might ought to back off of that. Haints and stuff like that spooked me. I'm not a fan of Haints. Uh, as a follower of Christ, this is something we should not be involved in. Will any of you actively campaign for Scott Dawson at his events? Yes. Yes, we, uh, we've we already made one appearance for Scott. We'll uh, probably make a few more. Uh, Scott's the kind of guy we need. Scott Dawson for governor. Is Bubba still hyperstepping? Um, Y'all are watching the videos, right? Is Bubba still hyperstepping? It's, uh, from the looks of things, no. Uh, are you still hyperstepping? Uh, yes. I see it daily, headed to the kitchen, back from the kitchen. What's the deal with the Vulcan statue? It's better known as the buns that weigh 14 tons. Gigantic. I think he's an exhibitionist, the way I look at it. Man shows his rump. Which of your wives has the best sense of humor? Wow, that's tough to say. Sense of humor? I, you know, I can't speak for everyone else. I'm going to go a tie between Betty Bussy and Lisa Burgess. That one would be probably a lot tighter race than it may appear. They're, they all have a big sense of humor uh, by the fact, as I said, the obvious one. They married these people. Betty laughs a lot. I, I don't know if you would say sense of humor in that she laughs a lot or, or the most creative or whatever. I, I can't speak for the other wives because I don't go to bed with them every night. If you could have whatever you want to eat for lunch, what would it be? If I had my way in calories, that doesn't matter, none of that matters, then I would love to have fried chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, one biscuit, one piece of cornbread or two, uh, and I'd also like to have black-eyed peas. Lasagna. Ooh, I, I'll go cheap Mexican in a minute. Love the queso dip, some chips and salsa, and something with some jalapeno peppers in it. If I could have whatever I wanted for lunch, it'd probably be what I'm having today. <laughs> Where did that high-pitched meh, meh, meh sound come from? That is the mating call of a Komodo dragon. Meh, meh, meh. Uh, sadly, it's turned in a way that we find each other in a crowd. Meh, meh, meh. We found out it will cut through a noisy environment if we're trying to signal each other. If you had one album to listen to for the rest of your life while you drive your vehicle, what would it be? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the Eagles and it would likely be uh, that first one they have that have the eagle skull on it, their, their first greatest hits, whatever that was called. Can it be one of those albums you ordered that had the multi-hits on it? You know, I, I think I had one. I can't remember the name of it, but it had Donnie Marie and Kiss and everybody. That was pretty cool. You're talking about why I'm driving in my vehicle. You're talking about my Hendrick Hoover Auto Mall Silverado Dale Jr. Signature Edition. Are you talking about that vehicle? Yes. Because, you know, if I'm being a Hendrick driver, have you heard that I'm a Hendrick driver? We know. Anybody not know? And also, if you need your house painted, gregspainter.com. <laughs> Just one? Just one. Shake your money maker, Black Cross. Normally, I really listen to praise and worship music more than anything else, but I have to have multiple artists to pull off that album. I'm going Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. When you live your personal life outside of the studio, do you constantly think about things that you will share on air? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. That, that's because if you listen to the show, that's pretty much what a lot of it is. We don't write comedy. We just report it. I literally live my life. When something happens, I start thinking to myself, don't forget that. That will work on the show. How much money would it take for you to eat cheese dip off of Adler's chest? How much? Off your chest, just cheese dip? I mean, and, and there'd be a disclaimer knowing it's just because for money and you know, I'm not like, I don't want to eat cheese dip off Adler's chest. I'd do it for probably $5,000. <laughs> That's a weird question, guy. That's a weird question. Actually, for free. Will you finally disclose the unedited reasons behind the Guntersville Treaty? I cannot speak directly to the Guntersville Treaty in great detail because that's part of the treaty. I wasn't involved. I can't discuss the Guntersville Treaty currently. It did involve a subpoena. Do you know the reason uh, behind the Gunnersville Treaty? Yes, I was actually there. And I'll leave it at that. It did involve um, uh, a attempted murder and sadly the death of one of our beloved icons, a bald eagle.
gigantic. 